If you are new to my channel, my name is Ahema. Welcome. If you are a returning subscriber, hey! <laughs> I remember a time in the makeup industry where you really couldn't recreate a look that somebody did. That person's followers were gonna come under your page and be like, um... This person, listen, no more, okay? Makeup brands are duping other makeup brands' products. Yes. Elf Cosmetics is one of those brands. If you've seen a high-end product that is a cult favorite, just wait a few months and you will get the dupe from Elf Cosmetics because we can't all spend a hundred and whatever change to get a specific high-end product. I have heard a lot about these products. These are the Halo Glow Beauty Wands. Elf Cosmetics apparently has duped the Charlotte Tilbury makeup wand. Charlotte Tilbury makeup products just don't go as deep as me so I stay away from them. There are some contours in here and some liquid highlighters. I really want to see what these guys will do for me. But before we jump into these products, the ones that I actually use are going to be linked right here or tagged down below. So definitely click that view products tag. YouTube has actually already done the price comparison for you so you don't have to search several different sites to get the best pricing. Let's go ahead and jump into some swatches and see what these products are all about. Love it. That's a little booklet that came in the thing. It says three steps to glowing sculpted looking skin. Disclaimer. I really hope that the contour is deep enough for me to use and I also hope that I'm able to find a good highlighter shade that I can put under my makeup because I like underpainting with highlighter now because it just looks really really good. They have a contour, a blush, and a highlighter. I thought it was only contours and highlighters. It says why you'll love the Halo Glow Beauty Wand. It's light Weight blendable formula blends effortlessly into skin packed with micro pearl pigments for major glow and it's infused with 2% squalene. Squalene is a product that actually helps your skin maintain moisture and also just look supple, hydrated, all those good things. Okay, okay so the Halo Glow ones retail for $9 on the e.l.f. website. There are four shades in the blush ones and three shades in the highlighter one. So first we're going to be swatching the contour. This is deep, rich, intense. Okay, it's definitely rich. It is deep enough to where I feel like it will actually do something when I use it as a contour. It's promising, okay? These are the blushes. So this is Rosé You Slay, Magic Hour, and last but not least, we have Berry Radiant. To me, these kind of look like highlighters only because they have, like they said, it's pearl eye, so it's definitely going to give a lot of like a reflective kind of property to to them. It is very, very glowy as you can see. This one is just straight up glowy. This is what they look like. Very reflective. So these are the liquid highlighter swatch. Turn my hand to the side so you can see the colors well. This is rose quartz. This is liquid gold and this is champagne campaign. So here they are blended in. They're very ashy looking. Um, this is liquid gold. This is, this is rose quartz and this is champagne campaign. Pain. They have very pale undertones. I'm not going to be able to use them. Anyway, let's go ahead and jump into the skin, okay? So I asked the question under my community tab and Brigida907 said that she really wants me to try the Glow Recipe Strawberry Blur Primer. She said that it made her face so soft, like she gave it so I'm going to actually use this as my skin prep. It's a treatment plus primer. It's the Strawberry BHA Pore Smooth Blur Drops oh and it says it's pore refining and blurring. It feels like a moisturizer but it is, it's not oily. It looks really good on bare skin. It doesn't have any of that white cast that some primers have. I kind of feel like going in with this one size Secure the Sweat Primer. I'm gonna pat it in. I'm actually beauty my face right now. So for the soft glam look, we're gonna be using the Minty Makeup. This is by Junior Mint. She has a brand that is sold at JCPenney Beauty. I actually interviewed her and this is her Nothing But Nudes face palette. I went in with the Glow Recipe and the One Size Primer, a concealer, some color corrector, and here we are. We're gonna go in with the contour. I haven't gone in with foundation yet, okay? So this is bare skin for me. I also feel like I need to let this sit for a little bit 
little bit before I actually blend it in because it is very fluid. I will put some right here just to minimize this five head that we got going. It feels very cool to the skin because it is very fluid. It's gonna give me like a very natural looking. Without foundation on and this new routine that I'm trying out, it looks really, really good. I need to go in with some foundation and see what it looks like. Quick thing that I noticed is that it's given a little bit of a purple tone. If you can see it, just let me know if you see it. Like it's given a little bit of a purple tone. So because I don't want to use any of the actual liquid highlighters, I'm gonna use the blush. So I'm gonna be using Berry Radiant just to see what it looks like. So you definitely have to build it up, but I feel like the more you build it up, the more radiant your face is gonna look. It's not very pigmented. It's very, very, very subtle, especially even on my skin tone. It's very yeah, subtle. So this is my finished look trying out the e.l.f. Halo Glow Beauty Wands. I definitely, absolutely, 100% recommend the deep contour for somebody like me. It gives a very subtle contour. It can also give you an intense contour if you let it dry down and then go back in with some more. The liquid pearlized blushes, I feel like will be very good as a base for something like the Juvia's Place blushes that are very pigmented. So you put this down, you put this on it to give you that glow before you set it. That way your cheeks can still look a little bit glowy after you put the powder and everything to set it. If you have oily skin, that is. If you have dry skin, then you can get away with just the, you can get away with these two and you'll be fine. I do not recommend blending them over powder. If you're going to add the highlighters, definitely blend it while your base has not been set. Yes, I will be using the contour. I will be using the highlighter, the blush and the highlighters under my makeup, not over. Thank you so much for watching. Love you lots and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.